Here is a Thor Motor Coach Indido CC35 Class A coach. And you see it's got a beautiful uh, paint scheme for 2024. Here's the show price here. Looks like a black, red, and gray paint steam. Got one little step in the front there. Here's got a massive barn door. This is about almost five feet wide. The doors uh, open like a barn door. And there you go. Now we have another pass through bay right here. And still another bay here. This is not pass through. Back here, we have another pass-through bay. And finally, we've got another pass-through bay that actually flips down and then flips up for storage. Now here's your rear end of the Indido. It has a rear window back here. Uh, as you know, it's got a power awning with LED strip up top. It's got an outlet here as well as an exterior TV. Okay, no sound bar on that one. Here's the floor plan right here. Uh, let's go inside and check out the coach. All right, so here we're going inside. First thing you see on your right is your master cutoff switch, your step switch, and some lighting controls here, as well as your important fire extinguisher. And Right here you can see already, before we check out the business front end, the seat does swivel. Let's see if you can swivel back toward the front. Seriously? Seriously. I put it this way on perfect. Oh. Yeah, so I can see you. Well, we, we can't check out the driver controls if you're in that position. Well, gee whiz. You want to check out the driver control? You do it yourself. Well, let's see. Okay, I think that will. Well, let's see, is that a locking switch somewhere? Yeah, she just loves me in these moments that I'm trying to figure out where the actual switch is for these things. Uh, okay, so uh, I give up. How uh, you... Actually, the chair was like that when I came in. <laughs> there you go, I think you found it. Okay. Well, okay. So Sometimes uh, reviewing, uh, walking through these coaches can be a challenge as we figure out how to make things work. You may hear a very slight beeping sound in the background. I haven't been able to figure out quite what that is yet either. Well, see, here we the go. Speaking is Ben's shoes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. As you can see, uh, there are very basic controls on this unit. Uh, here we have menu navigation as well as your cruise control. We have your mirror control, mirror heat, LCI level, uh, LCI leveling system, a place for your phone as well as a little USB port so you can plug your phone in. It's not a wireless charging at all. You have your emergency bypass uh, start to switch your batteries from your coach to your main starting battery, should that be dead. Fog lights, main headlights. Here's your instrument control, it's not digital. We have a 10 inch touchscreen radio slash uh, backup camera, as well as media player. Uh, we have our HV controls here, emergency switch, that cup holders, uh, three cup holders here, one cup holder here. There's nothing for the passenger, unfortunately. Well, um, that is a passenger. You think the driver well, needs three drink holders? A lot of times you see cup holders on either side and in the middle. Now, what do we have here? Over here is the work, 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 work desk. Work, 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 work. Like you make me do so early in the morning. Okay, we also have 12 volt sometimes on either side and a AC outlet beneath there so you can plug in your laptop. So, and also, should know, the steering wheel does tilt. And this is on the Ford F53 chassis. Watch the step. Just for the record. You see also there's two fans on either side and we have three storage compartments. Right, above. they are passed through and they're very, they're only, they're about three inches deep. Yes, watch your okay. fingers, there we go. We also have a place for a table. So when you turn the chairs around, you can have your coffee in the morning, sitting and watching the TV set, which is TV set, which is right above the couch here. It should be up. There's a nice step down there, so uh, be yes. careful. And if you're not careful, people like Ben can hit their head on the bunk bed. Yes, right. this bunk can hold 500 pounds. Yes. It's not actually a bunk bed. It's actually a full bed, So, but it's kind of like a bunk bed to me. Anyway, we do have a jackknife sofa. 
We have a couple drink holders and a shelf in the back. And again, I apologize for the beeping. I have not figured out what that is yet. And then you have your TV right here. So across from the Jack and Nice sofa, you have your two recliners. Wait, there's the storage above, above the door. All right, and you also have three cabinets above the recliners and they are passed through, three doors, one big cabinet. You do have, you just have the standard, I don't think there's day shades, it's just standard just, just shades. Just the standard yeah. shades. And you basically have an area here, as you see, not very deep. And you have two drink holders here. And these are manual recliners? These are manual recliners, yes. Switches are right here. Okay, on to the dining room area. We do have a dinette booth with two drawers, not very deep. You may be able to access more stuff if you take this off and take the yeah. board off, but I'm yeah, not going to do that. Yeah, there's a way to get to that. Uh -huh. Yeah, some of them are screwed down, but sometimes there is storage space there. You also have a couple cup holders, a wireless charger, as well as, and again, one big cabinet or three sm small ones that pass through. Over the TV set, yes, another TV set. You have more storage. The TV and more storage. And then a nice fireplace. Look at that. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. And we'll note there is another cup holder in the corner. Not sure why that's there. I mean, you got some on the table. You're sitting at the table. I mean, I just don't see it, you know? Well, it's when the kids are watching TV up close. So I think yeah, I guess they... if you're sitting like this, it might work. So, depends yeah. on the way you do things. Well, you know how, how kids tend to... Uh, to um, plaster themselves in front of TV sets sometimes. Okay, looks like we got three cabinets, but I we got one here, and there's one there with adjustable shelves. Going across the top, we have our convection microwave. Good size, and you can see it's got some accessories in there. You have a gas stove. Three burner gas stove. Yeah, and it's got, look at the lights there around the knobs. And it has an oven, or as we like to call it, a toaster storage. <laughs> Yeah, we don't use our oven. Not that we have one now, but we never did use it much. Okay, over here we have our sink, and there's Ben. <laughs> Are you satisfied? I did great pleasure out of that. I don't get it, but... You gotta roll with it, baby. <laughs> okay, you got some storage for the garbage can here underneath the sink. And both these doors connect to the same space for that $500 trash can. Mm -hmm. And you have three drawers on this side. Top one's a little, uh, not quite as steep as the bottom ones. We already showed you the stove and there's an access panel. And behind us, before, there is a touch screen for accessing your necessary things like lighting, climate, fans, diagnostics, your, your, love, your tanks. You want to see if they're full or not. Uh, very nice to have right there. It's also a little light switch for this overhead light. Okay, and we have our full-size like residential yeah. refrigerator. Side by side. Side by side freezer refrigerator. And directly behind me and across from the that is your bathroom. Full bath. Yes, full bath. We have some fixed shelves in the medicine cabinet. And let's see what we got here over the toilet. Okay, we've got some space there and a dead dead end there. And then you have another cabinet here with another fixed shelf. And another fixed shelf there. And here's you your have a towel rack. Oh, towel bar, sorry. And hand bar. Well, hand bar, more like hand towel, right? Hand towel bar. Mm -hmm. And here we have your AC outlet and your suburban uh, on demand hot water system. Right, and there's also a light panel here. Now, sitting down here, we have the sink. And we also, oh, the sink was a little bigger, it's a little small for a, a full bath. And then we also have some space here. And we also have a cubby above the toilet paper holder and below it. Okay, let's take a look at the shower, Ben. Well, let's see. Good for height, bad demerits for the, the hand nozzle and the guillotine bar. This shower is a 7 out of 10, at least for tall people. Uh, your height may vary. <laughs> uh, so... Let's see what Marie's like in this shower. I think he just likes to see me climbing into a shower, folks. Thank God I'm not wearing a white t-shirt today. Ah, there we go. Again, there's the three places to put your shampoo and stuff. I'm here. I think I, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Missing a seat, though. Need a seat. 
You need a seat. Okay. You need a seat. Let's move on. It's hard to shave your legs if I can't sit. I'm getting too old for that also, stuff. Also, a shower <laughs> bar would be very helpful. Not that she is a screwdriver in the shower. Have you guys guessed what my favorite drink is yet? Okay, we have a area that is a wardrobe with a couple adjustable shelves, but it also is prepped, as you can see in the back, for a washer and dryer. I keep trying to figure out what that beep is. I cannot figure it out. No. Okay, we have a king size bed on your side there, Ben. There are two drawers. On my side, there is only one. Well, that's interesting. There is a USB and a 12 volt socket here, as well as an outlet on the side of the bed. Right. And what's really impressive here are the size of these cabinets. Yes, they're quite high. And they are all interconnected, pass through cabinets. Right. And as I said, I only have one drawer on my side of the nightstand. But there is a cabinet there. There, there is. So and I have a little nice wardrobe. Uh -huh. For hanging robes and stuff like that. I was thinking about taking off the door and letting the cat sleep there at night. <laughs> That's always a possibility. Put two shelves so you can stack them up. Oh, yeah, there you go. Three shelves, really, because we got three cats. Okay, we have a TV over here. Again, good storage space behind it. Right below there, you have a nice countertop for some things, and you also have two nice sized drawers. Now, it should be noticed over here that you have your light control here, and many people ask what this thing is. This is your thermistor sensor for your, H, uh, your air conditioning and heating system. Okay. Over here, we have three doors, one big closet, and there's your table for up front and also your bunk bed ladder. And this is the other door, basically, where you see the bunk bed. There are four identical drawers. I'm just going to open one so you get an idea for the size. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that's about it. I think we've hit the end, unless we want to jump through to this inception behind us. Well, I love the way they pack these so close. I, I mean, honey, can you get a picture just down there to show how close this is? You've got to see how close they parked. And there's the ladder. I mean, it's amazing. Yes. Well, thank you for watching our video. We hope you uh, enjoy our videos and the content we bring to you. Please let us know if there's any way we can improve our content. And uh, if you haven't already, drop a like and leave us a comment, as I just said. But and if you can... Tell me what that beeping sound is in the background because I cannot figure it out. And Ben, of course, has some hearing and he doesn't even hear it. <laughs> I don't hear it at all. That's the one bad thing about losing your hearing, at least you know, partially. I uh, just want you to remember to always open the doors to adventures. And start all your journeys with the, the RV Keys. Keys. Have a great day, folks.